now let's go into looking at what are those factors that prime a person to develop asthma. So what primary factors or ideology needs to interact for someone to develop asthma? Is it genetic predisposition, viral exposure, acute lung injury, environmental triggers, environmental pollution, or smoke exposure? Think about this question and select all that would apply to the etiology of asthma. So if you chose genetic predisposition as well as environmental triggers, those are our primary etiological factors that are associated with asthma. And so these two factors must be present in order for a person to develop asthma. And when we think about this genetic component, one of the questions that's very important to ask a person with asthma or if you're trying to figure out if they do have asthma is that in their family, do they have a mother, a brother, a father, an aunt, a cousin that has similar breathing problems? Or do they have allergies? So do they get the runny nose, itchy eyes, or the allergic rhinitis type of condition? Or do they get skin eruptions that are associated with allergies? So this would be considered your atopic dermatitis or eczema. So there are three different distinctive types of disease processes that you need to ask if there is any family history because all of those play into the genetic component of asthma. So let's review those three processes. So you would ask them about anybody who has breathing difficulties associated within their family. You would ask them if they have any allergies, and so this would be like allergic rhinitis. And then finally, you would ask them, do they have any skin conditions? In our pediatric population, one of the things that we need to look at is what they call the atopic march. And what the atopic march is, is that you, if you have a child who says has a mother or father or a relative that has asthma, in that child, they are about 50% likely to have one of these allergic types of diseases. And so a lot of times in these kids, what we will tend to see is that they develop the skin condition first, so they have eczema on their skin, which then progresses to allergic rhinitis, so they get the runny nose, the itchy eyes, Oftentimes you'll see um, the, hue, the brown hues under the eyes, which are considered allergic shiners, or they'll have the little crease over the top of the nose, which we consider an allergic salute, which is also part of that whole allergy response because um, their nose itches. And then it progresses into the lungs where they develop asthma.